Hello guys, welcome to Statistics Bio 7. I am Dr. Mohanathanari. The channel fully focused on the biostatistics related data analysis and data visualization related on video post on this channel. If you like the channel video, click to the subscription button. Okay, let's go to the video. Now we are the discuss topic. How to calculate a normality test in Arjun Bro software? So the what is the normality test? A normality test is a statistical procedure used to determine if a data set is well modulated by a normal distributions. Those tests assess the goodness of fit between the observed data and the theoretical normal distributions. Okay, this is a data set for the sample data set for normality test in origin growth software. So we take the same age group for the 10 patient. So this is a patient ID and the 10 patient we take and the test for the blood glucose level milligram per deciliter in each patient. So the patient won the ID and the blood glucose level for 85 milligram for deciliter. At the same time for highest blood glucose level in patient 7. So the used for this data calculate for the normality test in Arjun Bro software. So the open the Arjun Bro software. So the data already entered in the Arjun Bro workspace. So the x axis for the pa patient ID and y axis is uh, for a blood glucose level. So unit for milligram per deciliter. So now analyzed for the normality test. So go to the statistical menu and select for the descriptive statistics and go to the normality test and open the new dialog. So the open the new dialog in the normality test. So the recalculate option selected for the manual and the input option selected for the input data the range 1. So the selected for the data range choose the option and select for the BY blood glucose level. So the group is a none. So then go to the next one options for the quantitative to compute. So the select for the VISPRO will test and another test for the not now selected. Now only selected for the VISPRO will test. Then go to the output menu. And the output menu also the standard test. And the plot also for the no selected for the, the data visualization in normal test test. And the box plot and the histogram also no selected. Then click to the OK button. So the now the calculate for the normality test. So the first one for the descriptive statistics. So click to the plus simple. So open the table for the descriptive statistics. Now just only for the read the data. Then one section for the next section in. How to the table converted to the publication format and the interpretation of the table. So the descriptive statistics in the blood glucose level. The number of analysis for the total number person for the 10. And the number of missing values, so the no missing for the blood glucose, glucose level in the single person. So the missing value is a 0. So the mean value for the blood glucose level 89.7 and standard deviation value 10.71 and standard error of mean value 3.38. So the next one for the table in the normality test, VISPRO will test. So the blood glucose level, the degree, uh, degrees of freedom value 10, then statistics value 0 0.97 and the P value 0 0.90. So the discussion at the level 5 percentage cannot be reject normality. So the blood glucose level at the 0 0.05 level, the data was statistically drawn from a normally distributed populations. So then, then go to the interpretation sections and how to the present in the table in converted to the paper publication format. So this is a table for the paper publications. 
the table 1. So, the descriptive statistics and the normality test for the blood glucose level. So, this is for the statistics options and value. So, the first one table for the descriptive statistics. The number of observations in 10, the missing value is 0. The mean 89.7 and standard deviation value 10.72. And the standard error of mean 3.39. And the normality test for Viscro will test the degrees of freedom, the 10. So, the Viscro Visc test statistics value 0 0.97 and p value 0 0.90. So, the conclusion of this table they cannot be reject normality at 5 percentage level of significance. So, the next one for the interpretation the descriptive statistics. So, the number of observations, the data concept of the 10 observation from the blood glucose level. So, the missing value, there are no missing value in the data set. The mean average blood proof level 89.7 milligram per deciliter. So, the standard deviation value, the blood glucose level have a standard deviations of 10.71, the indicating the variability around the mean. So, the standard error of the mean value the standard error is 3.38 which provide an estimate of the variability of the sample mean from the population mean. So the next one for the normality test, SAPRO will test the degrees of freedom. The test is based on 10 degree of the freedom, degrees of freedom, the reflecting the number of observations. The statistics, the Saproville statistics is 0.97185 is value is close to 1, suggesting that the data distribution is very similar to a normal distributions. So, the p value, the p value is 0 0.90743 since the value is greater than 0 0.05 that indicates that the null hypothesis of the normality can be rejected. So, the discussion at 5 percentage significance level the conclusion is cannot reject normality. The meaning that the 5 percentage significance level the data appear to be normally distributions. So, the next one section for the conclusion of the normality test, the SAPRO will test a result show that the blood glucose level in the data set do not statistically divided from a normal distributions. Therefore, parametric statistical test that assume the normality can be appropriately applied to the this data. So, this is a section for the how to arrange the data in normality test and how to apply the data in Arjunbro worksheet and how to analyze for the normality in Arjunbro and how to the output of the result to convert to the publication format of the table and the table interpretation for the normality test. If we any doubt on these sections, leave me comment in comment box. Thank you for watching this video.